Yo, what's cracking everyone? It's your man, Mr. Fomer Simpson, back with another unboxing. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. First and foremost, huge thank you to my friend and fellow YouTuber Zane. He's been rocking with me and supporting the channel since the very beginning. Real cool dude. Here's his channel. He always has a ton of info. I always learn new stuff when I watch his videos. I will put a link in the description, so make sure you go check him out. And on that note, let's get it on. Ah, well played my man, well played. As you can see, he sent along this picture of MJ and the great Patrick Ewing. He's a huge Bulls fan, I'm a big time Knicks fan, so this is very fitting. He was also kind enough to bubble wrap the box. Classy move, compadre. Classy move. Now let's peel this off and we can get into it. Drum roll, please. Bang, bang. The Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Yes, sir. These are absolutely classic. It does not get any more classic than this right here. This is where it all started. And yo, this quality is excellent for anyone wondering. I'd say it is definitely on par with the frag quality. Actually, feeling both side by side, the leather is basically identical, which is cool because Jordan 1s are usually uncomfortable, so having a higher quality leather makes them a lot more wearable for me, a lot more comfy. Now, I wasn't even watching basketball when Mike was wearing these, but that does not mean I can't appreciate them. That's always weird to me when dudes are like, if you didn't see Jordan play live in at least three home games his rookie year and order at least two beers at the game, you don't deserve these sneakers. They're sneakers. They look dope. We just want to get jiggy, man. Relax. How about you got to make a left-hand layup on the first try in order to buy a pair? These would be sitting on shelves everywhere. Having qualifications for being allowed to like a sneaker is comical. Anyway, you don't really need me to tell you too much about this colorway. I love the ninja swoosh right here. Very nice, very nice. They also blessed us with the Nike Air on the tongue and the insole, of course, because anything else would be uncivilized. Shouts to everyone who says uncivilized with me, by the way. You are the real MVP. Oh, and they threw in some extra laces too, before I forget, a white set and a red set. I'm just gonna keep the black laces in though. I dig how that looks. You got this polar bear leather on the toe box as well as the side, nice and smooth. Yo, I can basically tell everything about an animal just by feeling the leather. This polar bear right here, he was a metrosexual. He had spa treatments once a month, I'd say, waxed his eyebrows, manicures, pedicures, the whole nine. He enjoyed poetry, was an avid painter, and was also a huge fan of heavy metal. He was a bit of an introvert, struggled to catch fish, unfortunately. Good guy, though. And peep these bottoms, straight murdered out. The Jordan 1 footprint is so recognizable. I remember I was watching First 48 once, and there was these footprints at the crime scene, and right away I solved the case. I was like, yo, those are Jordan 1s, boom. The culprit was wearing Jordan 1s. The detectives didn't know shit about kicks though. They were clueless. Not gonna keep you too much longer though. Overall, love this shoe. Really glad I was able to get them. Just classic, so classic. Thank you for watching as always. More vids on the way. In the meantime, between time, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All that info will be in the description below. So until next time, Mr. Fomer Simpson, out.